dance as I promised this video is the tutorial for this <laughs> for this tubular beadwork and uh, I hope that the tutorial will be clear and see you soon in the next video bye bye, oh, bye, -bye. always clear she's great cutest thing ever hello bead hoarders how are you I started this video once and I stopped and I'm starting again because I wasn't happy <laughs> we're going to make some bangles I've been working on these bangles since Easter and you would believe the pile of crap I have sitting behind me from my failed attempts I am not going to show you they are really really nasty I saw a video by a, a young girl a student and I think her YouTube name is Cellular Mango and she used pony beads plastic pony beads to make these huge beaded cuffs um, a link a link um, below to her channel I'm pretty sure that's her name I apologize I should have wrote it down um, but they're massive and they're huge and it uh, was all the rage I guess a year or so ago and I saw these things and I'm thinking I wonder if I can transfer that pattern down to a smaller bead using 11s and 8s and I tried and I tried and I tried and I, like I said I've spent over the a, a week this past week trying to figure out a way to do it without success um, I made one little tiny sample that you could not wear worked out great <laughs> and everything else is a failure so if maybe you can figure it out try it because they're really cute these big big fat cups she made really nice with pony beads uh, so I thought about adapting it on a smaller scale in a different way and I came up with this and this and this um, not hard I used 8s and 11s except for this one of course where I used a 4 millimeter bicone and I used size 8 rounds to weave a band like this I used 7 rows just 7 you can make it as wide as you want but of course you're going to have to um, adjust your counts for the stuff on the inside when you do so for this one like I said eight row I'm sorry seven rows of size eights tubular peyote I'll put a link to my video for that it was my first video well real video on YouTube nobody was making beating videos at that time now they're real popular so, <laughs> um, I have uh, two colors of size 11s here these are dynamites they're a cheaper Japanese seed bead I'm hoping they'll work I haven't tried them yet for this everything else was either Mayoki or um, Toho and size 8 orange here and I'm going to try a different uh, brighter palette for summer I love black as a base I think it's pretty but white would be pretty as a base or any color any color you'd like um, so I'm going to use these 8's as my center bead on the inside and um, I'm going to start by picking up one orange, two green, an orange eight, two green, and an orange. So you want seven beads on your needle. Move this in a little bit. And this, like I said, this tripod, just it's brand new. Look at that. Just, just sliding away there. <laughs> just doesn't want to. I spent almost $40 on this thing and I do not know what to do it's just a mess look at that this is crazy awful 
Maybe it's not. I'm going to try something. Guess what? The camera was not screwed in tight enough on the base. Totally my fault. Not at all the fault of this tripod. All right. So I've got seven beads in this pattern here on my thread right here. And when you're going to skip on your band, you're going to skip the next up bead and go through the next. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around your little band. So one orange, two green, uh, orange eight, two green, an orange, skip one, go through the next. And again, orange, two green, orange eight, two green, and an orange 11, skip, go through the next, and you're going to repeat this all the way around, and I'll be back and show you next, what's next. All right, I'm putting my last little group of seven beads through the last space here. And you're going to work your needle down to the other side. And I'll be back when I do that because this can take some time fiddling around. Also, I wanted to mention that make your band, of course, duh, make your band big enough to fit over your hand. All right, I've worked my needle down to the other end and you want to get it into a bead that is approximately across from that eight in the center of those top little picots you made. So I'm right there. And you're going to repeat the 11 pattern and leave out the eight. You're gonna go through the eight. So I'm gonna pick up one orange 11 and two green 11s. Okay, you're going to go through the eight, and then you're going to repeat that going the opposite way. This is hard to hold for you to see. So that means I'm going to pick up two green 11s and then an orange 11, and I'm going to go through the next eight in my base, skipping. It's coming out here. I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to go through this one like this. Do not knot your thread. You know, I know I said I was going to make a video on knots and I'm still going to, but this, you know, you're, you get obsessed with something and you can't stop. <laughs> That's what this turned into. I am not kidding. I could not stop trying to figure this out. And it's really not hard. It was just trying to get the counts right. It turned into a oh, massive undertaking. All right, we're going to repeat an orange into the next, make our next little cross section. An orange, two green. Go through the next eight in the middle of that pico on the top. Then we're going to pick up two green a reasonable size please and an orange skip the eight go through the next eight down at the bottom I'll still do a knotting video just not today and you start getting these little cross sections can you See how I'm doing that? Keep things tight so you're not getting thread all over the place, seeing thread all over the place. You're going to repeat that all the way around. And I'll be back when I'm done with that. Gone all the way around, and I'm getting ready to put in my last little cross hatch here. An orange, two green, go through that center eight.
and then two green and an orange. Go through the last eight on the bottom, skipping the one in the center. There, come on. And there we go. It's cute like this, but I wanted to add an edge, more edging. And you can do that by either adding more, more picots around here, or just a simple, you know, edge finish, which is what I did. I wondered if I should use yellow on the edge. Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to use orange. And the way I did that is I just picked up five. You know, you can mix these up any way you want. Mix up the colors and the sizes. Experiment. The experiment worked out really well. And you skip one black up bead, one of your base beads, and go through the next. I'm going to do this all the way around. Skip the next one, go through the very next one. So you end up with another little pico edge like this. And then when you're finished with this side, of course, you work your way up to the opposite side and repeat. And when you do, oh, come on, oh, come on, when you do, you end up with one like this, which I really like, and just slide it on, like that, and it looks really cute. I think this is something teenage girls would really dig. I like it. This one, all I did was instead of, um, I added pico on both edges, of course. Okay. And then I added a uh, coordinating uh, 11 and a 4 millimeter and 11 through every tip of the pico, like that. I think it's kind of pretty. You could embellish the center too, I guess, if you wanted. This one was a little different because I don't have any three millimeter crystals. Well, I don't have enough of them, I should say. Um, I had to use fours and I didn't want everything all bumping into each other. So when I was doing these cross sections, I skip, instead of skipping one bead, I skipped two and did it that way. Um, it's not crossing as much as I like, but, you know, again, this is something I've been obsessed with and kind of messing around with. But I like the finished product. I wanted it bigger. I wanted more elaborate cross-hatching cross in there. Um, but you had to make a wider cuff, and I was not successful. I could not get it right. If anybody else can get it right, do it. Make a video about it. I will watch. <laughs> I want to see. Um, and that's it. So, it's a very rainy, stormy day here, which sucks. There's always some errands I wanted to run. Because it's Sunday. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I can't think of anything else. I'll make that nodding video. I will. I just didn't want to be too boring. I'll post a picture of this when it's finished. Stay happy. Stay inspired. Bye.
still doing it. Ugh. Oops. Go back. Go back. Oh, man. No, this is not good. This is not good. Not good. Nothing. Ugh. Oh my god. I hate my life.